I just landed in Rwanda and I've taken a ride out to the middle of nowhere, a small village called Bazinga. The infrastructure is not ideal, there isn't much put in place right now. People are just trying to get water. They fill up these canteens, but only the children can get the water because the hole is so small. They spend a lot of time being careful and making sure to get the best water out of the unusable. If they go too deep in the well, the water is murky, but at the brim it collects dirt. Somewhere in between is the best they can get. Because this is such a hassle, some people even pay to have the polluted water brought to their homes. These delivery guys make a small salary for bringing the water. But they can't get better water without technology. So working with them, we started a new idea. We have this box that we built in Italy, with solar panels on the top and a water filtration system inside. The key is that it only takes three hours to set up and an entire village is served water and electricity with a 20-year lifespan. We went with this idea to set up the box in three hours and we wanted to do a pilot. We wanted to see if we could sign up 20 families for a box because we are working on a new model that can provide clean water and battery packs for 230 families. The morning we signed up 20 families but we were overwhelmed with interest. That day, we ended up signing 50 families because people are in need of the sterilized water. We're already teaming up with NGOs focused on women empowerment because we want to have women shopkeepers. This is our very first box keeper. She's explaining to the families how the battery packs work. They can take it home and power three lights and two mobile phones. Her salary is much higher than the average salary in Rwanda, but the position is also respected because it's a really technical job. While managing the box, she collects the money and sends us a mobile payment at the end of the day for those who did not pay directly with mobile money. People always think of Rwanda or Africa as this poor place, but the problem isn't that people can't pay. It is just the access to credit and technology that is missing. When it is properly integrated, water and power can become a reality for so many families. Now that the technology is cheap enough and we tested this pay-as-you-go system, we see that this can change the lives of so many people. So why stop now?